PvP in this is a little bit tough right now, especially like we've been people have upgraded already. Right. We're we're a couple days late here. Yeah. They got good guns. Yeah, everybody we've run into has at least like uncommon to rare. Oh shit! Yeah. Hit him. Oh, okay. Hit one again. Oh god, there's one on there's top. One on top. There's one on top. Yep. I got the one below. I don't know if I kill him or not. I don't think so. I'm stimming up. You gotta heal. Where's the top guy? I don't see him. He was up here. I killed this guy, he's dead. Oh, you killed him? Oh, yeah. the guy on top, watch out. Nice, no, we got him, chat, let's go. Oh shoot, he hit me? There's no A, oh. Hit him in the head. He jumped down. Got him, dead. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cycle Frontier. I'm sure many of you have heard of this game by now. It's been in beta for a couple of weeks, but if you haven't, it's kind of a lighter version of Escape from Tarkov, but also in space. So it's space Tarkov. Now I'm a huge fan of Escape from Tarkov. I've been playing the game consistently for over two years now, I'd say. And it's definitely one of my all time favorite shooters that combines that survival aspect with a punishing system. Now, one of the things that I love about Tarkov is how if you die, you lose everything you are holding in that raid. That's something that a lot of games don't have, especially these these days. You know, that punishing aspect of games has significantly reduced it, tailored to the casual gamer. And of course, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that that's why Tarkov stands out to me so much, that it's so punishing. And while the bad times are really bad and it hurts so much, if you succeed, it feels really, really good. Now, the cycle is definitely a lighter version of Tarkov, still retaining that punishing raid aspect, but it has simplified a lot of other aspects of the survival shooter genre. So I've been having a ton of fun with this game. I love both the PvE and the PvP aspects of this game. So this video is split into two parts, a solo PvE looting experience to start and then some duo PvP actions in the second half. For these kind of games, especially like Tarkov, I love looting. I, I have an OCD, I think, to just like getting a bunch of loot, getting the primary loot, you know, optimizing what you're getting out of a raid and then getting the hell out and just extracting. It's very satisfying to me. Something that I love about this game as well. So we'll jump right into the solo gameplay right here. Overall, though, I have had very good vibes from this beta. This game shows a lot of promise to be a very exciting yet casual form of Tarkov. It really has improved on a lot of the aspects of Tarkov that is missing, including the ease of loading into a raid instance. But in Tarkov, instead of waiting for all the players to load into a map together and then you all start together, the cycle, you load into the map, which players are already active on and looting, some have already left, and more will be coming after you, which has really created this sort of dynamic and unpredictable raid instance. The loot resets around this map over a set period of time, so it really makes for a good pace to this game where some of the raids you will have a lot of loot if you spawn very early on, and some raids you won't, you might be picking up scraps later on, or you might spawn somewhere in the middle of an instant and you have to chase down some of the players that might have just taken that loot from you. Every time you load in as well, players will be in a different spot, so it's much less predictable fights and situations unlike Tarkov, which everyone spawns at the same time, and you kind of know where players are going to be. The music and atmosphere of this game are very well done. It really does give you that sort of new environment explorer kind of vibes with along with that. It's just nice to have an FPS touch to that. And you're also looking around for the parts to upgrade your space station hideout. The art style is great, matches the vibes really well. I still get that really anxious feeling whenever I'm going for a player hunting or even when I'm looting. It always feels like there's eyes that could be watching me from everywhere which keeps the situation tense, and I really enjoy that kind of atmosphere in a game. So yeah, that, that's my impression, guys. I won't rant on too much now here. Overall, really positive, and I'm really excited for this game. So I'll leave you guys with the gameplay here. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll catch you in the next one. Besides because you can sell some of the monster materials, but at the same time, you also need them to craft armor and stuff as well. So it's a, it's a good cycling of the PvE aspect of the game. With the cycle so far that I've seen, you can always have reoccurring quests. You can pick them up from the vendors. You always have sort of an objective. 
This raid here particularly, I am just looking for monsters to sort of pick up some loot. I'm looking for a little bit of spinal cord attachments that I can just craft another helmet with. But we can also see what we can find, what other loot we can find around here. Yeah, a little twinkie. Twinkle. Do you need a chocolate bar? Oh wow, this has some shit. Okay, what is this? Heavy mining tool. Oh, I don't have any of those. Heavy ammo. Nice. Somebody's been through here. They dropped heavy ammo here. Credits. Credits don't have any weight to them. Actually, this is a pretty good example of the loading instances. Someone came before me and took some stuff and they dropped their heavy ammo for it. But the loot reset on the map as I loaded in and I got here just in time. So I got lucky here and we actually got some good stuff. What the hell is this place? I gotta remember this spot. Right next to this big giant machine. On the left side, dig side. There's a lot of crates here. If you're someone that likes casual shooters, this is definitely a, a pretty good game for you. Because the only other type of game out there that has like looting and... And shooting, I guess, or over like more like PvP, hardcore PvP, is Tarkov, kind of like that, where you lose everything when you die. So high risk, high reward kind of a game. But yeah, Tarkov is extremely punishing, and this game is definitely a lot more more chill. I also like looting. I, I'm a big fan of looting in games, and you know, getting out a good stash, getting out a good like haul out of materials. I love PvP as well. It's it's exciting, but. That's something for me. I think my OCD more than anything else. Just, you know, there's something satisfying about going into a raid, getting a bunch of items that you need, and then getting out with that stuff. Making it out in one piece. It's also a big enough map that you're not going to get third party instantly, even if you have a gunfight with another, another team. I haven't noticed a lot of that. Compared to Apex, something like Apex, you get third party instantly. This one's been really nice. It's been really nice. I can hear shots there. It's far enough that like it would still take me a little bit to get to those shots. I put that on. Not compatible, I see. That's guy straight for East Cove, yeah. Somebody was there, they are getting out. Oh wait, how close is that? I think that's inside. Far away? Oh, I don't have the angle. Oh, we hit him. Dang, he just got out. <laughs> I shot Thorax there. Oof. Boy, that would have been fun. The backpacks that you do bring in do kind of make a difference here. And you got to level them up and upgrade these backpacks as you go along. You got to get materials to craft better backpacks to bring into a raid to get more materials and gather even more. Here I only have a green one, level 2 uncommon. So, I could get a little bit here. We actually got a lot out of that dig site. That was actually quite a bit. I didn't expect so many boxes full there. So let's try an extract here at the camp base, base camp. Alright, so here's the issue. I know this area is guarded by these guys. Two of these guys are actually one left and one right. They're higher level monsters. I don't have the weapons for them yet. Very early on, the maps are going to have... Even the PvE aspect is going to be a little bit difficult for you guys with some of the monsters. You're going to have to upgrade your weapons as you go along, and that's going to require upgrading vendors and completing quests. Quests will tell you specifically, like, various areas on the map that you want to get to. It kind of gives you a goal. If you're someone that really likes a goal-oriented game, this is perfect because you'll always have a quest every time you go into a raid. Vendor quests are always available. You can go in. Try to get to those areas, grab what you need to do, or it, it, there's a couple of quests that are either just grabbing materials. Some of them require you to be at a certain location for a little bit longer. You'll have to do some sort of task there, complete it, and then get out. Others will obviously just be killing monsters with certain weapons, so a couple of different things. Alright, ships here. 
I'm not gonna push in yet because they're gonna see me. I'm gonna wait. Chilling right there. Wait till it's almost time. The thrusters give you an indication you got about like 10 to 15 seconds. I think it's like 10 seconds. And we're on. He sees me. Oh yeah, it was less than that. Definitely like 10 seconds. Maybe not even. 7 seconds. Alright, good haul. 10k. 10k is worth of materials. Oh, shots. That's close. Yeah, these guys looted this. Oh, they found something better here. Oh, I'm off. I have to take this. Nice. I'll have a medium in there in case someone needs it. What's up? Oh, I see him. Right here. Right here. Yep, I see him. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I miss. Oh my god, this thing is not as easy to hit. I hit him. Yeah, I missed. Yeah, he's gonna... Oh shoot. He hit me. Oh my god. Down below, down below. I gotta, I gotta heal. That hurt bad. Yep. Oh my god, I saved my life. I have like... Nice. A tick of health. Dude. <laughs> Don't know how many there are, honestly. They probably rotated right now. This person is different. It wasn't the same as the first guy we shot. No, no, there's two. I think that was in this direction then. I think they weren't inside now. That is where the guy shot the guy. Yeah. Oh, gotta find a way around then. Parkour, parkour! Michael Scott edition. Do we even get over this hill? Hmm. <laughs> this is like no scale scaling the wall here. Are they roaring at someone else? They are. Oh, right here, I found him. I'm still trying to scale. Dang it. Hit him in the head. Down below here. Hit him in the head again. He's... He has a good armor. I think green helmet is enough to survive a headshot. And I can't go up higher than this. Oh, he's coming out? Hit him once. Dang it. it. How do we not hit that? I didn't expect the door to actually slow him down there. Oh, he's out again. Hit him. He's really hurt. I don't see him anymore. He's hiding behind the wall, I think. Or he's moving along the wall. Could be, but... I'll watch this area in case he crosses. Yep. There's no way I got him. I don't think so. Oh, he died. Oh, you got him? Oh, I got him. Holy shit. Oh, shit. Green helmet, Good thank shot. you. He had a green shield as well. I'm gonna Damn. take his pistol. Did he have light armor? Oh, he did. He had a CPU. Oh, we'll light armor his bag.
Gotta make it to the waterfalls. Go, go, go. Somebody's shooting. Oh shit. Take it slow then. Goodbye, player. Man, running with a full backpack, I can hear that a mile away. Holy Jesus. <laughs> it just killed out almost 80 meters out, and like, it's like... Kind of like an earthquake going on. I imagine a three stack all full backpacks running. You'll hear it from like swamp. <laughs> So the glint effect actually is kind of neat. It doesn't show the glint unless you're actually like looking directly at them. Oh, how do you know that? Because I remembered it from the last time I was getting sniped by that guy that you got killed by. Yeah. I couldn't see the glint until he actually looked at me. Oh. I didn't see a glint either though. I just died. <laughs> <laughs> but if you weren't looking at him then... He's got a... He's got a Manticore. LMG. Oh, man. Okay, goodbye, Scarab Gun. <laughs> 